Welcome back to another episode of the Hermit Poetry Series. I'm Neil Aiken, and on this channel I read poetry, mostly work by contemporary poets, occasionally poems of my own, and once in a while poems from the past. Today's poem comes to us, well, from me. Uh, this is from my first book of poetry, The Lost Country of Sight. Uh, this was published by Anhinga Press in 2008 and had the good fortune of winning the 2007 Philip Levine Prize for Poetry. Um, I'm going to read something from me, uh, in part because this video goes up on Thursday and I will have celebrated uh, my 47th birthday on the uh, on Wednesday. And so um, I, uh, I thought, well, I'll be selfish. I'll read something of my own. Um, and I also wanted to read something in honor of my father, um, who makes a lot of appearances in this book. Uh, the book was written during a time period uh, that I was finishing the book the year my father became sick and ultimately passed away from uh, Lou Gehrig's disease, from ALS. And um, as it happens, his, uh, he was in hospice at the end, and uh, we, we celebrated um, kind of a celebration of his life with him and had all these friends and family and people he'd grown up with come and, and visit and, and uh, be a part of an evening event uh, the night before my birthday. And, uh, and it turned out that after that event, early in the morning, after we'd all gone home, he passed away. So I'm grateful that we were able to celebrate his life together. I'm grateful that he had so many of the people that loved him around during the, that last, uh, last period of time. And I'm grateful that uh, he continues to have a presence in uh, the work that I do. Um, and in the writing that I do, as well as uh, being an influence uh, when I think about the ways in which I interact with others and how I, I coach and how I teach and how I, how I think about um, the lives of other people as they intersect with my own. So I'm going to read a poem um, from the first book entitled Kite Flying, which is for my father. And uh, we'll talk a little bit more about, uh, well, there's a little other piece of interesting trivia or um, ways in which poems have other lives that come out of this. Kite flying. Late summer, when the winds blew hard, I would blend into the sand while my father stood at the edge of the beach watching the kite rise against the dark pines, and the line which tethered it to his hands became invisible in the half-light of dusk. How it pulled heavenward into the insubstantial blue, or circled twisting in the breeze, falling, then rising again, always beyond reach. And he would stand gesturing as if calling a stray dog home, or a cat from a tree, a secret spell, something only he knew to waken the creature in the sky, to send it running out to sea like an angry pike on a line, then return, exhausted to his hand. And when the winds struck, it could seem as if the whole kite would burst with longing to leave the earth. What an old song this is, what flies above our heads like a banner, a wish for the one who never comes home. Um, I, uh, I wrote this poem, and, uh, and then it got published in this book. And, uh, and then uh, a good friend of mine, a composer friend of mine that I met at USC, uh, took this poem and two other poems, and well, actually I guess it was two, three other poems, and together made like a, a suite of art songs, a, a, a song arc out of these. And, um, and I'll include a link to, to this particular part of the, uh, part of that movement, part of that, that song cycle. And you can, you can hear it as well, how it becomes, um, something even larger than the poem. Um, so I'm grateful to Juhi Banzo, who, who was my composer and who I continue to work with on other projects. And, um, I'm excited uh, to share more of those things as, as time goes on. But uh, yeah, sometimes something begins as a as an idea, as a piece of trivia, and grows into a poem, and then becomes music and becomes something larger than even language itself. Um, so I'm grateful for the ways in which we're able to collaborate and work with others. I hope you find opportunities to do that, uh, to share your work and to discover ways in which you can work with others to create something larger, bigger, 
um, more expansive than perhaps your original vision. Um, I'm Neil Aiken. This is the Hermit Poetry Series. And wherever you are and whatever you're doing, I hope you're safe. I hope you're doing well. I hope you're healthy. And I hope that you are finding opportunities to create beauty and art, um, to create, create <coughs> connections um, and ties and bridges with other people. And uh, until next time, uh, keep reading, keep writing, keep uh, doing whatever it is you do that brings joy to you and to others around you. And know that we'll be back here again soon with more poetry. Until next time, take care. Bye.